candidates are applying for a marketing consultant position at some X company. Who's going to get hired? B. Who's going to get Who said B? B? Why? <laughs> this is a class, by the way. <laughs> B. <laughs> you will get participation marks. B. Why? Um, because for marketing, I guess, um, participating in extracurricular is more important than just getting marks or just studying things. Okay, that's one. Who else? Anyone, anyone, say, anyone want to say A is more important? A plus? I mean, the best, number one? No? Think about this. Why are we so hung up on marks? Why are we so hung up on marks? Every single day we worry about what we're going to get on the next test. But yet at the same time, think about all these other things that you can do to help you improve. Why is it that every year, the t every year, a, a, every year a student with a ridiculous MCAT score does not get into a med school? Why? It happens every single year. Why is it that someone with the top GMAT score can't get into an MBA program? It happens. When I was doing my MBA, I was doing an MBA co-op. And it certainly was, uh, and who got the best jobs? It was not, it was certainly not the people who got the highest marks. Experience matters. Experience is the number one thing that you have to consider when you're in university. And so don't get hung up on marks. Trust me, 10 years down the road, you're not even gonna remember what you got on your mental health course in second year university. You're not going to. Although I got a 60, <laughs> 70 or something. See, I don't even remember. But zero experience is not going to get you anywhere. So what I want you to do, challenge number two, is to go find something that's relevant to your field. Find something. If it's med school, go find a lab assistant job. If you're thinking about it, if, if you can't get a lab assistant job, then volunteer to be in a lab assistant job. If you're in business, Go find an intern position for the summer. If you can't, go help work, go help and volunteer at a nonprofit organization and build experience. Regardless of what you do, volunteer or work, do something that's relevant. So build your resume. Because at the end, that's what they're gonna look at. Three, get to know your prof. Hopefully I don't look like that when I'm 60. <laughs> but this is one of the easiest things that people can do, but people forget to do it. You need a reference. If you're already in your third and fourth year, you're already, it's, it's getting late. You need to find that reference. One reference can go and help, uh, help, you in a, help you go really far. If you're thinking grad school, then this is a must. This is a must. Again, A plus average, B, with, B plus with a strong reference, the B plus with a strong reference will get it. Believe me, I've been on the other side of the uh, admission committee. I've seen this. We debate. Someone with a very strong reference can give you an extra bump in your mark, pretty much. So, I want you to go back and think, do you have that one prof? I know there are some of my students here, and they're going like, to kind of look at me to that one prof. But I want you to think about that one prof. And if you don't have one, you better start very soon. Okay? It doesn't mean that you have to go and suck up to them. And, uh, and I'm sorry, there are some parents here, and this is quite an inappropriate picture to put up. But don't suck up to them. I'm going to remove that right away. Number four. I got four minutes. So number four. Let me slow down everything here for you. We all have our troubles. We all have our addictions. My first two years was an awful, my first two years in university, I couldn't study, I didn't do well, but there was one more thing. There was one more thing. I was addicted to something. I was addicted to something. It, to the point where I needed help. It almost derailed my life. And I'm not talking about smoking or something, or Korean dramas or Starcraft, I'm talking something much more serious. And there was a point where I needed help. Everyone has their troubles. Everyone has their obstacles that they have to go through. Life, life is full of challenges. 
And hey, if you if you're if you're struggling with school because your girlfriend broke up with you or things at home, everybody is going through that. But those who persevere through their obstacles and through their challenges are those that are going to be successful in life. And success is about sacrifices. It's about sacrifices. Maybe you don't want to go out with your friends on a certain night if you know that it's going to mess up your whole entire schedule the next day, especially if you have a test coming. Perhaps that you need to think about being on time for a job, and that's more important because you want that job to be something that's very important to you. So think very hard about the things that bother you, and get rid of it, and persevere through it. Persevere through. If you look at all the CEOs right now who are very successful, arguably very rich, have lots of money, most of them, one characteristic that's common between all of them is that they're very independent and they're very strong. Nothing let, uh, there's nothing that uh, gets them down in any way, and they can persevere through it. So perseverance is a very important trait in being successful. So think about that as you go on through your university years. And there's a lot of temptations out there. Because you know, in university, we want to have fun. We want to have fun. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't. This is the best years of your life. It is. I look back, and despite all these 55s and 60s, how I started, and the pitfalls that I've gone through, it's, I still have lots of good memories with friends, and it's an important part of my life. So, do you want to leave university with regrets? Or do you want to leave university with someone that you can be and be successful? So stay ahead of the game. And try to remember the four things that I've uh, talked to you about today. You will be rewarded in the long run. Thank you.